Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Hope you've all had a fantastic week so far. Today guys we're going to be jumping into VeChain. You guys know that we are a big fan of the project um, and today I'm going to be telling you what I think is to come over the coming weeks. Uh, and ultimately guys I'm anticipating a bit of a sell off for the market. Those of you that have... Um, uh, watch my Cardano video that I released earlier will know that. Now I'm not anticipating anything crazy, I just think that we need a little bit of uh, a kind of pullback to set up more continuation structure um, and, and continue on in this bull run. I don't think we're going into a bear market, I don't think we're, this, the sell offs going to be of any kind of severity like what we've just seen. I just think we are um, on track in my opinion for a little bit more downside before we set up for more continuation. I'm going to share with you why that is in this video. We're of course going to take a look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the uh, driver of value in the space. The whole market tends to follow Bitcoin. It is that um, it's the tide that rises and sinks all ships. And of course, VeChain is going to get affected by that. But VeChain is actually looking uh, pretty good in comparison with some altcoins. I think other altcoins out there are going to sell off a little bit more significantly. But I think VeChain is actually showing a little bit of strength. And in actual fact, um, you know, he's, he's looking pretty good. So we're going to get into it in this video. Before I start, guys, I just want to remind you of, of why I love VeChain so much. And that's because they're one of the most used cryptocurrencies out there. They're very friendly with the Chinese government, which is a huge competitive advantage. Uh, this is a t I, I follow their Twitter religiously. Um, our Chinese community submitted an amazing video of our WeChat video contest. Take a look at this video, uh, which showcases a full meal cooked entirely using VeChain tracked ingredients and products. There is a real use case for VeChain and they are nowhere near their potential yet. I mean, they are coming up with new partnerships on a daily basis, a super, super impressive project. And, and you know, I, I really um, reiterate that to you guys because the price doesn't reflect that right now. It's not, the actual true value has not been realized in the price. And, and certainly in, you know, even where it is now, uh, and in comparison with where it's going, it's, it, it's very, very undervalued. So let's talk about why I think there's going to be a sell-off, guys. It's a lot of what I uh, have already kind of reiterated in the Cardano video. Um, I think you've got a bit of a bearish divergence. Uh, before we go into that, you know, it, it, it's really these marginally higher highs that I don't like. Um, you know, I can show you plenty of examples like this one, for example, uh, is perfect. This kind of Wyckoff distribution that people are calling for, where you have your marginally higher highs. Now, I don't think you're in for Wyckoff distribution right now. I just don't like marginally higher highs. It, it kind of really, you know, can you see this, guys? Every time you get kind of slow moving marginally higher highs, it really just leads to a bit of a, a, a kind of pullback. And what this really does is sets up for more continuation. And that's what I'm expecting for Bitcoin. That's what I'm expecting for the entire crypto space. You know, September as well tends to be a bit of a dumpy month. Month. Um, I don't think it's going to be that significant, this dump. I just think it's going to be a bit of a sell-off before we set off for more continuation. Yeah, you can see here, this is September. Uh, sorry if I'm talking fast, guys. I'm just trying to get through this. These are all September. Uh, September. You know, it tends there tends to be a bit of a sell-off in September, certainly at the start of September. Uh, and I actually think that, it's, you know, we're, we're going to actually start to recover um, from this small, somewhat insignificant dip that could potentially be an amazing buying opportunity into September and actually quite early in September. Um, so there, so the, the marginally higher highs have me uh, thinking that we are we need a little bit of a sell off. Um, I actually think that this EMA uh, is going to hold as support. Certainly this one, you know, you've had this cross here, which is a bullish cross, uh, and I actually do believe that you know this year is going to end in a, a pretty spectacular manner. Um, much the same as uh, 2017 did and prior to that 2013. We know it's the kind of end of the bull run where we see things go parabolic and I, I'm, I'm anticipating this for VeChain. I just think that it is in for perhaps, um, it, it, it's going to get dragged around with Bitcoin. Um, and I want to take to our Elliott Wave theory, which we bring up on every single video. If you don't already use TradingView, guys, lots of people ask me where I get these charts from. Go to tradingview.com. Um, essentially, uh, you know, it's very cheap to actually purchase a trading view. You can use the charts for free um, and, and, you know, come and map these things out for yourself and take a look and see if you're seeing a similar thing to what I'm seeing. So I've stressed to you guys that I believe you are here. You know, I think you're on your fifth and final wave and right now you're just really at the start of it. Um, and ultimately, uh, you're doing the exact same thing that you do in these waves. Uh, can you see, you know, if you look, we, we spoke uh, in a couple of videos back about how VeChain is just lagging behind the market, which is a typical trait. Uh, you know, you have other coins that are at their all-time highs. VeChain doesn't tend to do that until the kind of next run-up. Um, and this is where you are, guys. This is your first wave. Can you see this? You sell off. This is where I think you are now, guys. You're in that kind of, not sell-off period, but the kind of rounding out. Your cup and handle. You're, you're really in your cup before you set up for continuation. This was your uh, three-wave here. Can you see this? 
this is where I think you are, ladies and gentlemen, today. And I think you're going to um, very much use this uh, EMA on the uh, weekly support. I think you're very close to forming this bullish cross, which is really going to see, if you look the last time we did it, it saw this big run up and, and the kind of um, the, the bulk of the wave take place. And you guys know we've got price targets right up at sort of $1 to $1.50. And I actually think you're going to get there. You know, I'm really anticipating a very, very uh, parabolic run towards the end of the year. Um, and ultimately, you know, VeChain, uh, and it, it does the same thing, guys. Can you see here, if we go back to um, this period here, which is around about the 14th of December, can you see this bullish cross here, guys? Let's go to the 14th of December. Where are we? Where are we? Can you see you did the same thing here? After this sell-off, you form this cross. And then you sold off slightly before then continuation. You know, it's all it's all setting up. You've almost got a blueprint for what's to come based on what's previously happened. And that's really what trading, that's really what charting is all about. Looking at previous structure and see if it's any, if you know the conditions apply to, 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 to where you are currently. And that's exactly what I think is happening, guys. I don't think there's anything to worry about here. We still think it's going to be a spectacular year. And in actual fact, you know, I'm looking to pick up more VeChain. I, I think it's such a strong project and it's going to do very well. I mean, if it's at uh, 12 cents right now and it goes to, to $1.20, that's a 10x on your money. You will not get that anywhere. And I think that's going to happen in a very short period of time. It doesn't have to happen. It's just kind of what um, I'm expecting. And remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I do or say on this channel is financial advice. We're just here um, essentially sharing with you our thoughts and ideas. And, and hopefully you guys find some entertainment out of that. So that's really the, the, the main takeaway. You know, we're still anticipating a very, very uh, bullish year. Um, or bullish certainly end to the year. It's been a bullish year so far as a whole. Um, we're not anticipating any kind of a significant sell-off. We're anticipating a similar price movement to what we've already seen um, with the first kind of recovery phase after our uh, pullback waves within our Elliott Wave theory. And, and, and we think you're there and we think you're about to form this bullish cross. Um, and if you kind of look at uh, you know how, how this works and, and what comes around after it, you know things look great and if we look at the rsi it also paints a very similar picture guys um can you see here this so this is the end of your two wave down here this is your first little bump up and then you have a little correction end of your fourth wave first little run up and then you have a first little bump up and then you have a a, a, a correction this one is slightly higher because we know the three waves in Elliott wave theories are typically the uh, biggest um so this one will be a little bit lower much the same as your one waves are typically the smallest and this one's lower than um than this one here so i hope you guys can see what i hope i'm painting a picture here uh, of, of what i think is coming you know you, you, you're setting up this sort of structure uh, it looks the same on the charts it looks the same on a number of different avenues it looks the same in the volume profiles before then setting up for more continuation and and and, and you know really completing that fifth and, and potentially final wave of this bull run so you've got nothing to worry about guys could present a potential uh, a really good buying opportunity potentially um you know certainly if, if we're anticipating what we're anticipating for the rest of the year this this could be one of the last chances you have to to get into uh v chain before we see significantly higher prices that is all I have for you in this video, guys. I think I've rambled on for long enough. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you guys think there's going to be a, a, a sell-off? You know, when we say a sell-off, people always get worried. Please don't be worried, guys. Part of healthy market structure is absolutely normal, absolutely fine, and in actual fact is what you want to see. Uh, and ultimately, we don't think you're going to sell off, you know, 80% or, or, or anything like that, or even 50%. We think you're just going to have a bit of an easing uh, before continuation ensues. So all I have for you guys, I'm going to love and leave you on that note. If you found the content useful and entertaining, please leave me a like and a comment. It's much appreciated. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.